Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Monday, the memorial of the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. According to an early tradition, as a small child, the Blessed Virgin Mary was presented by her parents to the Lord in the temple. This celebration reveals the total dedication to God's service and obedience to God's will. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare your, your praise. Come, let us sing to the Lord as we celebrate this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Come, Come let, let us sing to the Lord as we celebrate this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us sing to the Lord as we celebrate this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, let us sing to the Lord as we celebrate this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God, and we are His people, the flock He shepherds. Come, let us sing to the Lord as we celebrate this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us sing to the Lord as we celebrate this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us sing to the Lord as we celebrate this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us sing to the Lord as we celebrate this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage? and enter the presence of God. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread by night and by day, as I hear it said all the day long, where is your God? These things will I remember as I pour out my soul how I would lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God, amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throne wild with joy. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God. I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. My soul is cast down within me as I think of you, from the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Mizar. Deep is calling on deep, in the roar of waters, your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day the Lord will send his loving kindness. By night I will sing to him, praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? 
with cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me, saying to me all the day long, Where is your God? Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God. I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy. Come to our aid, O God of the universe, and put all the nations in dread of you. Raise your hand against the heathen, that they may realize your power. As you have used us to show them your holiness, so now use them to show us your glory. Thus they will know, as we know, that there is no God but you. Give new signs and work new wonders. Show forth the splendor of your right hand and arm. Gather all the tribes of Jacob, that they may inherit the land as of old. Show mercy to the people called by your name, Israel, whom you named your firstborn. Take pity on your holy city, Jerusalem, your dwelling place. Fill Zion with your majesty, your temple with your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The vaults of heaven ring with you praise, O Lord. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the works of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth, their words to the utmost bounds of the world. There he has placed a tent for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent, rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun. To the furthest end of the sky is its course. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the most holy Virgin Mary, grant we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too, may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, looked, and there was the Lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him a hundred and forty-four thousand, who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. I heard a sound from heaven, like the sound of rushing water or a loud peal of thunder. The sound I heard was like that of harpists playing their harps. They were singing what seemed to be a new hymn before the throne, before the four living creatures and the elders. No one could learn this hymn except the 144,000 who had been ransomed from the earth. These are the ones who follow the Lamb wherever He goes. They have been ransomed as the first fruits of the human race for God and the Lamb. On their lips, no deceit has been found. They are unblemished. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not 
what is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus looked up, he saw some wealthy people putting their offerings into the treasury. And he noticed a poor widow putting in two small coins. He said, I tell you truly, this poor widow put in more than all the rest, for those others have all made offerings from their surplus wealth, but she, from her poverty, has offered her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat at maligayang pagdating dito po sa simbahan ng Manawag. Isang ordinaryong araw, naghanda ang nanay ko ng masarap na pagkain. Nagtaka po ako. Pagkatapos, habang kumakain po kami, naiyak siya. Tapos sinabi niya, wala na tayong pera. Napatanong ako, ba't pa kayo naghanda? Ba't pa kayo naghanda? Eh kasi nga, wala na tayong pera. At anong implikasyon nun? Maglalakad ako papunta ng school, hindi lang ako, pati ng mga kapatid ko. Mangungutang muna sa kantin para sa merienda, sa lunch, tapos maglalakad ulit, pauwi ng bahay. Kaya po nag, natatakot po ako kapag yung nanay ko naghahanda ng walang okasyon. Ibig sabihin nun, wala na kaming pera, wala ng allowance, Maglalakad papuntang school, mangungutang muna sa kantin, maglalakad pa uwi. At nung minsan naalala ko yung kwento ng isang balo, sana ganun yung nangyari sa amin. Nung minsan si Elijah, inutusan ng ating Panginoon na pumunta sa isang balo. Pagkatapos yung isang balo ay merong anak at meron silang isang jar ng honey at flour. At sinabi ng balo, ito lang ang meron kami. Kapag kinain na namin ito, kami mamamatay. Pero sinabi ni Elijah, magluto ka muna. Kakain ako at hindi mauubusan ng laman, ng honey at flour. At hindi kayo magugutom. Sana ganun ang nangyari sa amin. Pero hindi. At dito sa ating Ibanghelyo ngayon, meron pang isang balo na naglagay ng queens doon sa templo. At ang queens na yun ay ang, kanilang, ang kanyang kabuhayan. Kaya napaisip ako, siguro ganun minsan ang disposisyon ng nanay ko na kahit na walang wala ka na, kailangan ka pa rin mapagbigay. At ano bang nangyayari kapag mapagbigay ka? Because the more we give, the more we trust in God. The more we trust in God. At yun pong nangyari kay Kristo. Nung nakita ni Kristo ang isang balo na naglalagay ng buo niyang kabuhayan, nakita niyang sarili niya. Nakita ni Kristo ang kanyang sarili doon sa balo. Bakit? 
ano bang nangyari kay Kristo nung huling hapunan? Hindi ba doon sa huling hapunan, inalay niya ang kanyang katawan at dugo na sumisimbolo doon sa dalawang coins. This is my body, this is my blood, which will be given unto you. Ayaw pa sana ng ating Panginoon na gawin yun. Minsan, nung siya'y nanalangin, sa Garden ng Gethsemane, sabi niya, three times, Lord, take away this cup of suffering from me. Ayaw niya sanang gawin yun dahil siya'y natatakot. Ayaw niya sanang gawin yun. But then, sabi niya, Not my will, but thy will be done. Napakaganda pong pagmasdan ng ating Panginoon na ibinigay ang kanyang sarili para sa kapakanan ng lahat ay lubusang naniwala at nagtitiwala sa kagustuhan ng Diyos sa kanyang buhay. Minsan, kapag ang ating kabuhayan, ang source ng ating kabuhayan ay nawawala o malapit ng nauubos, ganun din ang nangyayari sa atin. Natatakot tayo. Natatakot tayo. Ano nang mayayari sa akin bukas? Saan ako papunta? Mabubuhay pa kaya ako? Magiging masaya pa ako? Kasi akala natin, kapag walang wala na tayo, puro kahirapan. But then, we don't realize that when we are nothing and we give everything that we have, It is only then the more we trust in God's plan. At ano pang sabi ng ating Panginoon? Look at the birds in the sea. Look at the birds in the sky. The fish in the sea. The cattle in the field. God provides for their need. Do not be afraid because you are worth more than many sparrows. Kung yung mga isda nga sa karagatan, yung mga ibon sa kalangitan, sa impapawid, hindi sila nag-aalala kung anong para bukas because God provides for their need. How much us, how much you who loves and trusts and have faith in God, hindi ba niya tutugunan ang mga pangangailangan mo. You are worth more than many sparrows. All He asks is put your trust in Him. At yun pong ginawa ng balo. Yun ang ginawa ng mga balo sa kwento. Itong balo na binigay ang lahat ng kanyang kabuhayan Naniwala at nagtiwala. Yung sa kwento ni Elijah, nakapag binigay yung cake kay Elijah, sila'y mamamatay pero sila'y nagpatuloy. And even the mother, na siyang balo din, na naghahanda para sa kanyang mga anak, place his trust in God And what will happen? God will provide for your need. Trust in Him. And He will act. Agad-agad. Siguro minsan, mangangamba ka. Siguro minsan, matatakot ka. Dahil siya rin ay natakot. But then, God's plan will always be beautiful. God's plan will always be mysterious. The more we give, the more we trust, and God will surely take care of you. Please stand. Today, as we commemorate the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, let us ask the Father to grant us the generosity of heart in consecrating our life to God. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that the church may offer as a fitting offering to God the services of men and women. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all those who believe in Christ may listen to the voice of God who calls each one to be holy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the example of Mary may shine through the life of consecrated persons. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ's presence may be felt by the sick and those who suffer to our comforting presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops and Clergy, and for those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brothers and ministry at Santo Domingo and Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intention of Father Glenn Gamboa Opi, who is celebrating his birthday today, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak, and for our personal intention. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may offer a worthy sacrifice through our righteous life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, grant that we, like Mary, may say yes to your will and fulfill in it in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for three goodness. We have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. We may be accepted by you, Lord, and may our sacrifice in such a day Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered. No request be made in vain through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. That through the saints and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise for truly even to earth's ends you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age when you look on the lowliness of your handmaid you gave us through her the author of our salvation your son Jesus Christ our Lord through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise 
as we acclaim. Pinagpalang na paririto sa gala ng Panginoon. O sana, o sana, o sana sa kaitasan. O sana, o sana, Sana sa kaitaasan. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do these in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep. In the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, 
with Saint Joseph her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. May this million father God for Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safely. Please stand. Blessed are you, Mary, because you believe that the Lord's words to you would be fulfilled. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Blessed, Blessed are, are you, Mary, Mary because, because you believe that, that the Lord's, Lord's words to you would be would fulfilled. Be fulfilled. Alleluia. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we, who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary, may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisa sa banal na misa. At patuloy po nating ipagdasal ang isa't isa. Mag-ingat po kayo sa man kayo papunta. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters.
free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, candles, oils, and other religious articles be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.